All right, the play I'm about to show you guys, about four or five clips, is my crutch for the past two seasons. This play is worth the price of admission. This is four-man snag. Um, team go man, first answer we're going to put pressure on teams if they go man coverage. But also throw it to too high. Okay, so here's what we got here. Four-man snag refers to this. An inside snag by the number three receiver. Number two receiver has a corner. Number three receiver is still on a snag. And then our running back is on a swing. So we're putting flooding one concept, one side of the field. Okay, so as you can see here, I got two rhythm routes. This corner and this snag. People ask me all the time, which one do you take? If you know you have zone. If you know you have zone, then you can read three-man snag and read the corner first. If you feel like you're getting man pressure, then we would start with the rhythm snag and then work ourselves out to the second snag in the swing. This was the very first time we called in the game, so this is a very good one to watch because it was not ran as clear as the other ones was, but I want you to see it. This team comes with a blitz. The quarterback feels he has to step up in the pocket, so he feels like this snag isn't open. This guy ran a horrible swing route, so he covered himself up. He's able to work on his release, and lo and behold, nobody ever covered the inside snag. And then off we go, 41 yards for a touchdown. show it to you again from the tight copy we did expect some man from this team but all they did was really zone blitz us relentlessly Show you the end zone copy so you can see what comes to the quarterback's face. If he has time to set up, he may get this ball in here to that receiver. But he steps up, work on his gap releases. That snag coming to the pitcher. And then walk to the races. I am recording this play a day after Clemson has won a national championship, which uh makes me happy um because of the um this young man who's playing tight end for us is on that team at Divas and Line. So here we go here. Fourth down call for us. We told our quarterback this game to check for zone the rhythm snap because when this team's on blitz they left the middle wide open. So there are always game plan adjustments that you can do. We're able to hit our big tight end right there in the middle. And as you can see, that's why he's an FBS player. It takes about a 1,000 people to bring him down. Show it to you again so you can see. All right, this was a playoff game. Same play we just showed it to you. Same way the quarterback's looking at this here. We have somebody right here eyeing the tight end, two guys over here, and then, of course, we have our swing route. As we come up, we have one guy that's pausing to take the corner. This guy's go ahead and get out for the swing, and he's supposed to touch him and then get way for the inside snag. Having to try to put hands on the corner route delays him getting inside the inside snag. The quarterback comes off to it and puts it right in the middle for a first down. That little hesitation. Quarterback should have been a step fast over the hitch to get that ball to him. So let me bring this back here, playing um, a team that played a lot of different coverages to us, mainly three and man, 
Um, but they mixed some things up. One of the, was ranked number two in the state when we played them and ranked in the top ten in the nation. So here we go again, running two man snag is third, second and forever. Inside snag is covered up. They covered up the swing. Two guys falling back on the corner. There goes our inside snag for a big completion. Show you the beauty of this play. Now, we've ran it one time. We're going to come back here, and we're going to run it again because it is a successful play for us. All right, give me a hold of when we get there. All right, run it again. Almost the same as that look that we just had. This time, two guys look towards the flat. Both guys are getting back again on the corner route. Nobody has the inside snag. Exact same identical play here for our receiver. Wish he had a cup more of feel. Here we go again. On the back side, you can always call a route if you think it's good. Catches it in space. And gets up feel. So as you can see, these are the different variations of our snap passing game. We run five variations. Uh, at our disposal, regular two man, two man, two man with a wheel, three man, three man with the uh, dig tag basic, and then four man snag. Usually, we want to take the latest, the latter four into the season that we still use a lot, but two man is in our playbook and where we begin.